in this video, we're going to be talking about what is required to start an LLC in the state of Georgia, the necessary filings and documents that you need, uh, what to do if you get rejected, the annual state compliance that you need to take care of, and your tax election options once you have filed. So what we consider to be necessary are what is necessary to open a bank account. So that is the LLC filing with the state, the EIN with the IRS, and the legal documents that prove the ownership. This is the holy trinity of the three things that you need, two filings and one legal document. In the state of Georgia, the physical LLC filing is called the Articles of Organization. Once approved, this is the actual name of the filing that you will get back from the state. The fee is $200. You file it online. You can set a future date up to 90 days in the future. Let's say it's October 15th and you want to start the business officially on January 1st. You can file on October 15th and set the effective date as January 1st. Turnaround time, seven to 10 days. This can take longer. Let's say the flu goes through the state examiner's office and they're short on state examiners. Uh, something else happens. It can always take longer, so plan ahead. Name selection. You cannot be Amazon LLC in the state of Georgia. You cannot be ABC Tile Incorporated LLC because a corporation and LLC are different. Common sense stuff. You have to have a unique name. Registered agent. If you are, every LLC requires an in-state address, physical address, that a constable can walk into and deliver a piece of mail or service of process lawsuit to in person, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. If you don't have that, you can use a third-party registered agent service. Also, whatever this is, is public on the state's website. So if you have disgruntled customers, you don't want them finding your home address, then you want to use a third-party service to use their address. Better Legal provides this if you go through us. Delivery of your approved LLC is by mail. If you are rejected, you can fix that through an online portal through the state government's website. The state compliance for the state of Georgia is called the annual registration fee. It is $50 due on April 1st of every year. And you can file between January 1st and April 1st of every year. Once you have that approved filing from the state, and only when you have the approved filing, do you then get your EIN from the IRS. You do not have to employ anybody to need an EIN. It's just a bad name. Uh, the reason we wait until we get it from the state is because if you apply for ABC Tile LLC uh, and get rejected, but you've already gotten your EIN for ABC Tile LLC, you've got mismatching names, that is a problem. So you wait until you get that state filing approved. It's also called an FEIN, Federal Tax ID. It's basically the business's social security number. You need this to pay taxes with the IRS to open a bank account. They're going to ask for the EIN. Or if you're a vendor to someone else, they're going to give you a W-9 to fill out. If you don't want to put your social security number on there, you give them your EIN instead. You cannot carry this over if you are a sole proprietor. If you've been running a business as a sole proprietor for five years, you decide to be an LLC, you need, you need a new EIN, new business, new EIN. Finally, once all that's done, you need the legal documents for your business in an LLC that is called an operating agreement. It determines the operators and the owners of your business. It provides proof of ownership. The state, nothing else provides ownership of your business except for this legal document that you have signed. If you have more than one owner, it provides the rules of the business. You might start as the only owner, but then you get investors later, a partner later. It can expand. So you want to have legal documents that can expand with your business and it is often overlooked. So you want to make sure you get these done when you get all the other stuff done. Um, this is provided by Better Legal if you go through us, but you do want do not want to skimp on it. Don't download a free template. Get it from a real attorney. Uh, tax election. Once you are done with all the other stuff, uh, the IRS does not have a classification for an LLC. So if you are by yourself in a business, they just default you to a sole proprietor. That's how they classify you. It, you still get the legal protection, but that's just how they classify you. Two or more people, you get classified as a partnership. If at any point in time, you decide you want to file to be an S-Corp or elect to be an S-Corp or a C-Corp, you can actually make that election with the IRS through an actual paper election form. Uh, when can you do this? You can do it two months and 15 days after the formation or two months and 15 days every single calendar year. So right after the, the initial formation or 
January 1st to March 15th of every single year. Uh, let's say you are not making a lot of money for the first four years. You can just keep it running. And then all of a sudden, one year, your CP says, hey, you're making a lot of money. You might want to be an S-Corp. Then you file the S-Corp in that January 1st uh, timeframe. And that is everything you need to know to file an LLC. And you get more information in the description below.